Yeah, it's disappointing. Um, you know what, I think both teams came out and didn't really show any emotion or, or passion or anything. Um, you know, and it's like a pond hockey game and you know, they, they ended up scoring more than us, so they, they wanted it more tonight. Um, you know, it's a pretty forgettable night. And, um, you know, it's, it's tough to, especially the way we've been playing in the past couple of weeks, to, to, to finish like this. Which is there maybe something to learn from this that just regardless of when the game falls in the season, you can't not put in an effort? Um, I hope we're never in this situation again. I mean, you don't want to be playing like meaningless hockey for, for a month or two months or, you know, however long we, three weeks, however long we've been mathematically eliminated. So, uh, you know, it's a lot of guys, you know, planning where they're going, uh, you know, tomorrow where there's GR or, or whatever you're doing. So uh, it's, it's just a tough game to play in and uh, against a team that uh, is also out of it. So we got to find a way, though, to, to battle and, and uh, you know, be, be a professional and be an NHL player and, and uh, you know, at least uh, generate something. I think that was uh, – I didn't really expect that, definitely coming into that game. But uh, I think it's nice to get the first one out of the way for sure. And, uh, you know, the guys did a tremendous job helping me out back there. I think, uh, you know, clearing some loose garbage in the crease there in the third. And uh, it was probably uh, – as easy as it could be, thanks to those guys in front of me. So, what's going through your mind when you get into the net for the first time? Uh, I think uh, my legs are shaking in that whole second period. There is kind of, but uh, I think uh, it was just you know you got a job to do. It's uh, it's five one already, and I think uh, as cool as it is, uh, you still got to remember it's your job, and uh, you got to go in there and play. Did anybody say anything to you? Some of the vets, anybody? Stayed up to you uh, during the course of the game to just either settle you down or give you encouragement. Or? Yeah, yeah, there were, uh, there was a lot of talk going on, which was uh, it made it a lot easier. I think uh, just knowing that those guys had uh, a little bit of confidence in you to go in there and uh, you weren't going to give up five or six and half a game was uh, it definitely helped out my game. Explain the poor performance from you guys last uh, home game before fans. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's even an explanation for that performance. Uh, obviously we weren't ready. Uh, we didn't play at all. So there's no, no excuse. You got to be shocked considering how well the team played uh, the last several weeks. To For sure. I mean, it sucks to finish this way. Uh, I think we were playing pretty good hockey, like you said. Uh, everyone was playing good and it just sucks that we left Howie to himself tonight. The two, I mean, it was 2-1 after the first. There's plenty of time left to oh, rally and sure. to come out with no pushback. Like I said, uh, we didn't do anything right tonight. And uh, hats off to them, I guess. They, they were the better team or the only team playing tonight. It's got to be even worse when it happens at home. I mean, it happened against Montreal at home. Uh, I don't think there's a, a worse one. I think they both, they're both terrible. I think... Uh, Either it's here or down there, or in Montreal. Uh, I think it was last year, 11-1 or something. I mean, they're, they're games that aren't fun to play, aren't fun to to think about, and that's how they go. How do you think this game happened after you guys have played so well from the stretch? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, obviously we've had tons of injuries. Our, our guys, we've had guys come up and play really, really good. Uh, I think prior to this game, I think we were 8-2. and two. Um, uh, I just think our guys ran out of gas. It felt that you know it was coming that way a little bit uh, against Pittsburgh, and then we just we just ran out of gas. So again, I think you know I applaud the group that came up though, and I mean we had a number of guys that uh, obviously that that have been uh, regulars with the Grand Rapids, and I think they did a heck of a job, and I just think they ran out of gas. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I thought in the second it was uh, it, it it got away from us. You know, Jimmy tweaked his groin in the first, and and obviously Caden uh, 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 hadn't played uh, you know and hadn't played in the American League, and so we were trying to protect him a little bit and uh, try to keep Jimmy in there and, and see if he could hang in there. And I thought Jimmy gutted it out big time. Um, it was disappointing for him because he got hung out to dry. So I was real disappointed for him just from a statistical standpoint. Uh, but but he was fine. I mean, you know, he was trying to hang in there, and and we just couldn't uh, we couldn't get it going. Yeah, really hard, really hard to cut. You know, I thought he came in, did fine. Yep. Can you take something from this? Maybe that. I mean, how well the team, that, as you said, Jerry banged up, has been playing, but then 
this is a terrible feeling to go into the offseason with. Yeah, no, it's a terrible feeling. It was brutal. Like uh, it's it's no fun on the bench. It's no fun to lose. Um, no fun to get your butt kicked. And uh, so you know, again, I think the the biggest thing is is we better understand that we got a whole bunch of people that have to get better. And that'll be my uh, you know we've got a we've got a development plan for each player that's uh, returning, and uh, we got to get better. We we can't. Uh, uh, if we take steps in the right direction, we got a chance to be a, a better team and maybe a lot better team. But uh, uh, if we if we plateau, no chance. So let's get better.